So right now we about to do some DTF on the Rico RL1000. Let's check it out. We got our heat press heating up right now. We got our film on the RL1000 and here is our graphic right here. Let's do it. We are gonna go ahead and put that thing in that thing like that right there. Printing out the color part and it's looking real good too. Look at that. It's looking real good. See it looking real good. Ink nice and wet. Sucking it back in. Getting ready to put down that white underbase. I mean, it's definitely laying the white ink down. I don't know. It's kind of got those stripes going through it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. We're going to have to wait and see. The graphic is definitely on there, though. It definitely got that white underbase. But uh, like I said, I'm not feeling those white lines. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that. Maybe I got the, uh, the platen up too high or something. I'm not sure. But yeah, we're going to have to see about that in a second. We're pretty much all done. We're about to take this off and put the powder on top of it. Looks good so far. We got our print now. We're going to go ahead and put a coat of powder on top of it. I'm just going to lay the powder off right here, like a line right across here. That's a bit much, but it's cool. We'll get it off. All right, you see that powder right there. Now we're going to go ahead and run it down the whole design, making sure we cover everything, every part of it. All right, with that powder. Get that powder on there nice and good. All right, another roll down just to make sure, just to make sure. All right, now we take it all off. Make sure we knock all of that off there. Tuck it a few times. Get the excess powder off. Make sure we got it all off. Make sure we got all that powder off of that sheet. And then we're going to burn it. Now we're going to burn it for 90 seconds. Make sure it's not touching at all. All right, we're done with our time. So it's not touching, so it's not going to pop up, even though it's an auto open. So we're going to lift it up. And we should be done. It should be cured. And it should be transferred now. Ready to go. I mean, the transfer looks good. We should be able to transfer it now. So we pretty much created the transfer. So for 300 degrees, 30 seconds. Let's see if this thing transfers. Let's check it out. Onto a hoodie. All right, just position it. Right. Already I can see some residue from the powder right there. Which means it didn't melt all the way. Didn't have, gotta gotta work on my melting time. All right, so let's press this down. Here we go. Let's see what we got. It transferred. Doesn't look good though. Doesn't look good because of the colors and the lines going through. But it definitely did transfer. It definitely is on there. So we just gotta work on our melting time we gotta work on our banding with the lines on there plenty of banding plenty of those lines going through so we gotta work on that but it definitely did transfer and definitely does look good yep transferred all of that ink off of there which is good so it looks good in the camera on the phone but it's actually the colors are off slightly so we gotta work on the colors um the banding with the white powder um, it's all you can see all the lines going through that so that's terrible so we definitely got to fix that in our printer I think that's a printer issue we might have to uh, clean off our banding strip but overall it did transfer and um, it's on there I mean there's nothing more I can say I mean it, it, it's on there it worked DTF worked